when I was a child. Um, God told me stories. Said the pestilence turned men's faces inside out. Made them grow limbs where none should be. But the world was nearly lost in its wake. And she prayed. And the Sarum would never need to return. No sum worth bringing the likes of them to shore. Never thought I'd see a set of body here for myself. I heard you were all seven feet tall and big as oaks. Don't. Close enough. Just keep your distance. There's a dark about you, and I don't want any part of it. If Sedum ventured to Sacra, then the rumors must be true. The pestilence has returned. I don't know whether you follow the sickness or it follows you, and I don't care to know. about like you're the only killer on board. Keep walking, filth. I'll trade no words with you. No good will come of this. Should have burned the island to the ground a thousand years ago and never come back. We've wrecked and ravaged our way across half of the Arshan Sea. And you're scared of a hunk of rock. Little space, eh? Not plenty of mainland ships go missing off Sacra shores. <laughs> They're not the only ones on these waters. <laughs> these fools think they know who you are and where we're headed, but they've got no idea. Not sure what you're hoping to find on a shithole like Sacra. Just Dasha families, always one meal away from starving, and a bunch of runes that mean nothing to no one. Captain wants a word with you up above. Men on edge, sir. We've trafficked in people before, but well, I won't be sorry to be out of these waters with you off my ship. I was paid to deliver you to Sakura in one piece, and I will. I get to your quarters. 
and stay out of our way till landfall. What will it you below decks? Fetch me the mushrooms from the shelf and herbs from the table. I have to keep studying, or it'll go from bun to ashes. In you go, along with a little seawater and a lot of sawdust. <laughs> sure, you can eat a mushroom in a pinch, but nothing beats a cooked meal. Here, have some for yourself. I'd save it for gentler seas, else it'll come up as fast as it goes down. <laughs>
your eyes off our cargo. Unless you want one plucked out. You're just another job, as far as I'm concerned.
too late for any of us. So, it's true. The king is dead. Long live the king. He was a great man, and a good friend. I, I will mourn him. We will all mourn him. Your father's soul is at rest now, King Magnus. The people look to you for strength. I offer my condolences and my counsel. As I did for your father for the many years. The Great Pestilence has returned, Lord Bowers. Uh, yes, I have heard the rumors. They're not rumors. Even now, it ravages the island of Sacra just off our own shores, turning their men and women into unspeakable things. The Pestilence is a punishment upon those who have lost their faith. Is it now? How convenient. You question the church? You're not the church, Madrigal. You're just the tip of its spear. Enough. Whatever the cause of this sickness, I cannot allow it to spread. My father has been weak for many years. I will begin my reign doing what he could not. My king, you are... grieving. I must recommend against any... It's already done. Tomorrow, Madrigal Selene and her Inquisition will set sail for Sacra. I promise we will cleanse the island of this wickedness. Our new king's faith in the church is well placed. Our king's faith was never in question. Ellsworth is a strong ruler, your grace. Sacra will recover. No. Sacra will be reborn. This is my responsibility to the kingdom. With God's hands, we will reach into every corner of the island and bring it like a newborn babe. Screaming into the light.